Elliot, SWPL2 champion, sum that up for me. Um, I, I don't even know what to say, to be fair. I know there's been a talk the last few weeks that it's coming and um, we've just kind of been pushing, trying to take each game as it comes, but now that we've, we've finally got it in the bag and it's over the line, I'm, I'm relieved and I'm so, so happy for the girls. You say that, it's been... It, it's, um, it's not exactly a shock that we've been crowned champions today. We've been... Well, I say we, you have been flying all season. How happy are they that you've got it over the, the line at the first chance? Yeah, I mean, we could only focus on ourselves today and um, thankfully results went away elsewhere as well. So we knew going into the game what we had to do and you could tell at the start we had a little bit of a nervous start. We went behind, but we've got full belief in each other and I, I knew that the second we went behind that we would just kick on and we did and we played well today. Um, so I'm pleased for that as well. But to do it, the first chance of asking... Couldn't really ask for anything more. I uh, I thought you might say something like that, and I think you're being quite harsh and discrediting yourself. Results elsewhere today didn't win you as the league. You as players of Queen's Park won you as the league, so please don't be harsh on yourself for <laughs> that. But I do know what you mean. It's um, I said to Ian in, in his interview, you know, in a moment like this, it feels great, and you kind of forget about everything that's been sacrificed before it to get to this moment. You've been at the club three years, and you've given a lot to the club. Are you able at this moment to reflect on the last three years at the club, or is it just too too numb and emotional moment? Um, well, as it, it's, it's kind of emotional and thinking about this from where we were when I started here, um, it's there's a small core of us that have been here since the very beginning. I think it's meaning so much more because we've been here at the club through the tough times and um, we struggled and we pushed on, but we stuck by each other. And so for days like this, you, it's means so much more um, the club have really been starting to back us and things which is great we couldn't we couldn't ask for any more so to pay them back as well for their back and hopefully we'll continue to push in the right direction now that we're going up I think it's fair to say that during pre-season there was a, a, a very clear plan of what this season wanted to achieve and it was promotion via either doing what you've done today or the playoffs if need be was there a particular moment this season you thought, yeah, we are we are going to go and do that? Um, up until the last few weeks, we've not really... I, I know it's cliche, but we were, we're taking it one game at a time the whole season. The start of the season seems ages ago now, but um, we were just doing what we could do and um, plodding away, trying to get as many points on the board as we could. So I think it's mostly the last couple of weeks now that everyone's like, oh, it's close and you can win it if you do this and this happens. But... Again, we had to do what we did today and go out and put in a good performance and get three points, so we've got what we deserved, I believe. Ellie, thank you. You've uh, you've given us some minutes of your time there. Thank you for that. Go and enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. <laughs>